In this video I am going to show you the door closing transition in Filmora 12. Like this. Hello video editors. Welcome to Solly Tutorials. In this video you will learn how you can recreate Sam Colder and Ben TK's hyperlapse door close transition. In Filmora 12. It is very easy to make this transition, which I'm going to show step by step. So to save your precious time, let's start the video. So for that, I have a clip of a door in the media. I drag and drop the clip onto the timeline. This door video is something like this. The download link of this door clip is in the description. You can download and use it absolutely free. Place the playhead at the start of the video. And take a snapshot from the start frame of this video. Move the video slightly forward in the same track. Drag and drop the snapshot onto the timeline. Double click the snapshot. Go to the mask section and click on it. Select the draw mask tool. With this tool we will draw the door area in the video. But before that I zoom the preview screen to my liking. And now I select the door. Scroll down to the draw mask tool settings and invert the mask from here. I fit the preview screen back. And now take a snapshot of it. Remember to select PNG as the snapshot format. And then click OK. Now we have to select both the doors one by one. So for that, double click on the snapshot on the timeline again. Zoom the preview screen again to your liking. and adjust this selection of the draw mask tool to one of these side doors. It's very simple, all we have to do is move these dots of the draw mask tool. I adjusted the selection to the right side of the door. I turn the invert mask option back off. So this will leave us with only the right side door, and everything else will be removed. Now take a snapshot of it. Note that the format of the snapshot should be PNG. Now we have to adjust the selection on the left side of the door. Double click on this picture again. Zoom the display screen to your liking. Now we have to adjust this selection to the left side of the door. First I turn on the invert mask option. So that we can see everything, and we can make the right selection of doors. All we have to do is move these dots of the draw mask tool. I adjusted the selection to the left side of the door. Scroll down to mask settings. And turn off the invert mask option again. So you can see that we are left with only the door on the left side. Now take a snapshot of it. Keep the snapshot format as PNG. OK. After doing this, delete this snapshot picture on the timeline. Now drag and drop another video onto the timeline. You can add any video of your choice here instead of this video. Next, move the playhead a second or two past the start of the video. And here with the playhead we'll drag the previous snapshot. So this is the snapshot we took first. This I drag and drop with playhead on the timeline. Now in this picture we are going to zoom out animation. So for that, double click on this snapshot. Go to image tab above. And click on basic section in it. Add a keyframe to the start of the picture. In this keyframe we have to scale the snapshot picture size. To add the next keyframe, I move the playhead forward a bit. And in this keyframe I reset the scale. 
so our picture size will be restored in this keyframe. So it will create an animation something like this. You can adjust the duration of the animation by moving the keyframe back and forth. Move the picture by dragging it to the same place in the top track. So we will have an empty track in between. Now in this track we drag and drop one of the door pictures into this track. The gate picture is placed at the start of the second keyframe of the picture above. Move the top picture again by dragging it to the same place in the top track. And drag and drop another picture with a door into that track. This picture should also be placed at the start of the second keyframe of the above picture. Now we will create the closing animation for these two doors. So for that, I double click on that door picture. Go to the basic section in the image tab. Here is the keyframe button with transform. Add a keyframe to the start of the picture by clicking on it. And in this keyframe, I move the left side reference to the left side. For this I increase the value of position Y. After that, select by clicking on the picture of the door below. And add the same keyframe to its start. But in this we will minus the position Y. Because we want to move its position to the right side. Since this is the picture of the right side door. Now move the playhead forward a bit. And where we put the playhead. At the same place we have to reset the position of the pictures of the two doors. So select a single door picture for that. And click on reset keyframe button. Place the playhead back in place. And here also add the same keyframe to the second door picture. This keyframe also only resets the position keyframe. After doing this, place the playhead at the end of the keyframe animation of the door pictures. And select all pictures and videos here. And split it here. After splitting, delete the extra footage at the end. Now right click on the middle gap. And then click delete. So we have gap deletion between videos. And the door clip we dragged first connected to the next clips. Also if you want to add background sound effect, its free download link is also available in the description. Hope you like this video a lot. I always come up with such nice good videos. So it's better for you to subscribe this channel. Like the video if it helps you and share your views with us in the comments. Take care. Bye.